right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, to Honcast.com. We have our second series finally upon us here. And what is uh, what surely should be a fun one here. We got Team Excellent, of course. We just got finished watching them about an hour and a half ago or so. They took on Bad Monkey Gaming. Uh, let's just say it didn't go as planned maybe for them. Uh, they, now, in the second game, they definitely competed. It was actually a really good game in the end, though. BMG, too much to handle. They took the series two games to nothing. So Team Excellent following up that performance here against Rexars, who's definitely an interesting team because, you know, this is a team it kind of – well, the biggest thing about them, we, we don't know too much about them in the end. This, this, if any of the teams here, is kind of the ones that are really the new dogs on the scene. Of course, you have Azure Rexer, which is Insania, we know that. But the other players, apparently, you know, a bunch of TMM players that, you know, play with them, good friends and whatnot. Uh, not really the most experienced as far as the top tier level. Now, with that said, they have played in, like, bronze, silver, and diamond, by, or gold, by all means. But, uh, again, not the most experienced at the top, top, top of the chart, but... As I said earlier, they actually took a game off of Reason Gaming in their first match earlier this week. So, looking forward to how they play against Team Excellence. So, now that that's out of the way, uh, I'm going to be joined by my co-host once again, my nuts. Welcome back. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, thank you. All right. So, uh, obviously a little bit of a break there, but uh, it's good to be back. And yeah. uh, I know th this was the matchup that you actually <laughs> were, were, were excited to cast, I guess. Yeah, um, I think this is going to be a fun one. Yeah. Uh, I expect the Tempest to be a contested pick since Pew thinks he has the best Tempest in the world. And Insania, <laughs> of course, knows he has the best Tempest in the world. But mm -hmm. neither team decided to pick it up yet. Yeah, so some mind games there. I mean, th this is Perhaps. Pew's chance. He could pick it up here. But uh, no, no, he's, he's going to go and drama it in case it's picked up Yeah. on the other side. How about that? So, uh, no, but we'll see if that eventually gets addressed or not. But... Uh, as far as the initial pants go, it was Torture, Rhapsody, Nymphora, very support heavy. Yeah. Uh, and then Kronos. Yeah, that's a little different. A but lot of the really high TIR heroes went through the first banning phase, like Puppet Master and Drunken Master. Mm -hmm. All picked up by either side, of course. Uh, Puppet and Drunken on Rexar's side, and then Rally thrown in there uh, for good measure, so. Uh, that's also kind of another interesting. Rally's been making some appearances here and there <laughs> uh, yeah. as of late, so maybe uh, a sign of things. Hasn't really been that impressive, though, in my opinion. Yeah. Uh, who did we see play yesterday? It was. Uh, Diglett. Was it Dig? That's right. It was Diglett's Rexar, or not Rexar <laughs> Rally. <laughs> Diglett's Rally is totally what I meant to say. Yeah, it was an losing performance, but no, still, it was a very, very uh, fun game to watch. That was against Sync. That's right. Yeah. Um. But, uh, yeah, so, eh, you know, has had some good games. Also, maybe not, not so good games, but we'll see how they perform with it here. Um, Bant's coming out here to follow it up. Dark Lady, Ophelia, Soul Stealer, Parasite, Moon Queen. Tempest still not touched yet, so. Nox being a bit upset in chat. Yeah. Thinks the bounce are targeting him. <laughs> that's, that is true. Yeah, you could read Swedish, unlike myself, so I'll yeah, trust said. that's what he's saying. Hello, don't forget F.A. <laughs> okay, that makes sense, yeah. Uh, Forsaken Archer, unfortunately, only a three man, so... Uh, yeah. She's still there. If they I want think Legion got a way better drop so far, though. They pretty much traded Puppet Master and Drunken Master for Sir Bansington. Mm -hmm. And Bansington is a hero that's still pretty new to the competitive scene. I don't really know if he's worthy of uh, being like a tier 1 pick, like he is right now. Yeah. Never really saw him when we played in SG because we always banned him. <laughs> we never really tried him out, so I'm not entirely sure how strong the tier is. Yeah. I, uh, to, from my understanding, he's just he's just so strong in that laning phase. Like even as a suicide hero, he could get a kill on you at any given time because of the burst of that lance yeah. along. The joust is obviously a great tool to use. So. Yeah, but as far as, you know, we kind of talked about earlier that short lane Sir Bandington, his impact wasn't really the most. Granted, the, the team as a whole didn't really execute the best, but, you know, does he have that potential like a Pebbles to really take oh, yeah. off, or does he need a lot more work around him? But um, Engineer picked up, and then Alonia coming out. All right, that's that's a little different. My uh, excellent here. You like Alonia? You, any thought on that? Mm. The hero has potential. Can do a lot of magic damage, but it's kind of iffy to play it as a support or a second support because you kind of need some items on her because her mana pool is very limited and her spells cost a lot of mana. 
Yeah. That is true. Where will she end up is the question then. I mean, yeah, I mean, with the, with their draft so far, she could either be that secondary support or even a farming Alonia, depending on what they finish with here, but probably going to get that Nox hero. <laughs> yes. Don't see one. Chelsea but they're all either. banned. <laughs> they're all banned, yeah. <laughs> There's no other options. Hey, the Flint Beast was still there. Whoa! That has... Wow! We have not seen Voodoo in forever. Dang. Dang, indeed. I want to say Nova was the last time I saw <laughs> exactly. Yeah, Nova would be an active hero. Yeah. <laughs> Super KG even mentions it. Yep. Um... I, I mean, I, I've always liked the hero. I thought he's always been a, a, a very solid hero. Just very aggressive support, of course. Yeah, he's definitely aggressive. Very capable of getting kills early game with the yeah. first round. That's going to be fun. All right, so yeah, they get the Voodoo Chester here. Gemini is going to be that final pick for Team Excellence. So, you know, again, gonna, we saw that yesterday. Speaking of Diglett, we actually saw him play the Gemini again. In the end, it didn't go so well. But Nox is going to get his hands on it. He's definitely played this before. Yeah, he really likes that hero. Mm -hmm. I remember when they were in Thailand for a while, they played a lot of dog. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, he was over there with uh, Nova and Emperor. And uh, who was their fourth, actually? It was uh, Vian Sensation, that's right. Yeah. And then a uh, Thailand player. <laughs> no, Basket really or name. something? Oh, was I, it? I don't remember his name. Yeah, I forgot the name. But anyways, that obviously didn't last on too long, unfortunately. But he's back, back in Europe. Back in Europe. Um, all right, so the the lineups finishing on either side. I mean, definitely some interesting pick. Really, though, that Voodoo Jester. It's going to be played by Insania here, aka Azure Rexer, um, on the Legion side. Are we going to see a tri lane? I mean, they have an aggressive makeup here on the Legion side. <laughs> yeah, both both teams have really aggressive makeups. Yeah, every single hero in this game has a stun. A puppet doesn't have a stun, but he has his whole. Pretty much just done. So. Mm -hmm. Show I me. Mean. Yeah. So I'm expecting a lot of kills to happen. Yeah. The scheme is set up for that. And again, that's kind of what you're getting at. As far as the, the matchup here at two, again, you got two teams that you know are expected to be on the by a lot of people maybe it le the lesser experiences. And again, Team X they have a lot of top tier players sure that have been around the scene, but as far as playing together, it's been a while if anything and. Yeah, especially, obviously, Super KG is completely new with the group as a story footer, so take some time to, to mesh and whatnot with uh, one another. Um, this laning phase, I, I, I don't know. <laughs> I just don't know what to expect, honestly, when it comes well, to it. Looks like Sir is going to be a suicide for sure because he has Scudden Pool region, he has Born the Gold Worker region, and the Star Shield. Yeah. That's pretty much. Only certainty so far. Mm -hmm. Looks like Rally might be heading mid. It doesn't have a lot of region. I don't know, man. I don't know. <laughs> Who really knows for, in the end? From Legion's items, it kind of looks to me like they're going to do a tried and aggressive, but it's kind of hard to tell. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Q failing the copy paste, you know? Yeah, he tried. Get everything in there. Boy. Yeah, you can't be the best at everything. No, you can't. It's a little different. <laughs> let's yeah. let's go. I agree. Well, who's uh, who's paused? It's the Hellborn side. Okay. So waiting on them to resume the game, and then we'll be good to go. Apparently, Story Flutter, AFK, real quickly. Okay. Okay. I believe we're good. Uh, again, Team X. Both these teams are playing their second game of the uh, Pro League so far. Obviously, again, 10 games in total damn is what they ultimately play. But So it's still early on in the season. Of course, uh, reason, or not reason, but uh, Rexars, they do, again, come in with a one point as they did take a game off of Reason Gaming. Excellent. 0-2 oh, against BMG. So they're, they're still looking for at least their first point, if not a whole series, would be nice for them, I'm sure. Anyways, okay, so the laning phase. 0-5 uh, for Rexars is currently in their own jungle. Going to see if anyone's going to scout out over here. But as you can see on the mini-map, neither, yeah. neither team can interact here. I think the most interesting item in this game is Insanias. He's has chosen to save 300 gold. I think he's going to be rushing boots. Huh. See if he might even get form priority to get the boots early and start roaming. Yeah. You never know. If Insania is kind of greedy. So roaming Voodoo Jester. 
That's, I mean, that, there is potential. As I said, very aggressive support here. That cursed ground uh, provides uh, a lot of damage, especially even at, lo even at level one. It can enhance your damage quite a bit. And as a cocktail, it's not your guaranteed stun by any means, but yeah. Um, and it's a support here that has really high base damage, actually, as well. Like good attack animation. So. Yeah. Just overall, a lot of damage output. So placing the very aggressive ward of sight in the laning phase down here to start things off. Gonna give Puppet Master some good information in case any ganks are perhaps in incoming. Yeah, look at this lane setup. Sir, Sir Bensington got another set of Blightstones. Did he really? Now it's 12, 12? Blightstones. And have both. Jeez. Yeah. Insane only has three Blightstones. It's gonna get out so quickly down there. <laughs> yeah, that is that is very, very true. So, yeah, it makes me wonder, is, is he even gonna want to try to... I mean, I guess in the end, you know, make them use them, but... Yeah, but uh, Insane is... You know, insanely good, so he's just gonna outmaneuver this dancing <laughs> Of course. Doesn't need the region. He actually used a tree to, to yeah, eat through he, it to go through. He, he doesn't care. He doesn't even need the regen part of it. Look at that harass. He's yeah. insane. Just keep the distance, and uh, you can get the harass out. If you're as good of a player of Insania, you can do that. Uh, middle lane, though. This is interesting. You got Rally Engineer versus Gauntlet Alonia. Again, that's your it's your case of you got a rally against a hook hero, so. Kills, yeah, we maybe saw not. Excellent last game running Cersei mid, and now they're running Elonia as the support. Yeah. And unlike standard heroes. Elonia's definitely a lot stronger laning presence though, I think yeah, it's safe to say. Yeah, sure. Then, uh, then Cersei, I mean, that uh, the flash freeze can provide a good follow-up. And just good burst damage. As you are saying though, she really needs some items. And, you know, even in the secondary support role, is she going to ultimately get that? Is Fine going to be able to farm that, so... Yeah, I remember BMG used to experiment with Elonia second support some, and they <clears throat> they stacked Ancients a lot and cleared it with her because mm -hmm. she's really good at clearing neutral camps. And I don't know. You you definitely need to get farm somewhere. We see, Sir Bensington again. He's just keeping his distance. Not much he can do. Puppet Master in the meantime, having free farm of course. Uh, Purple Rexar. He's their their carry player over here on Rexars. <laughs> it's just these names. I hate them. Uh, Drunken Master in the meantime, top lane. It might be a little bit of pressure because of Kama Stun. Twin, uh, Twin Fangs ready to go. Yeah, a little too far. He gets him in front, though, but not nearly a kill opportunity in the end. So just want to get a little more harassment in there. And actually going to push the tower maybe a little bit. Or at the tower, at least. So some That's a lot of safe experience with Drunken Master. It doesn't seem like he wants it, though. It's just going to... I don't know about that. Yeah. I think he should have leech experience from those six being creeps and then come for health, but... Mm -hmm. yeah, but maybe busy. he was afraid of dying. Yeah, I mean, they, they could definitely, die, especially the Twin Fakes land, but, you know, it's not the easiest stun to land either, so... Um, yeah, could have perhaps manned out at least some experience as you put it, but, oh well, what's done is done. He is he is struggling, though, and understandably, he's still sitting on the zero creep kills. Only hitting level two. In the meantime, Nox, 17-5. and five. Again, this is one of the best farming players we have seen... <laughs> On a competitive scene, honestly, it's just it's usually always up there on the GPM charts with, uh, with the what he brings to the table. So, um, yeah, this Gauntlet rally though mid, how's that going? Thirteen to one rally versus a eleven and five Gauntlet. There's a hook actually coming out, and Dramon is running in the combo set. It will hit after the compel, but it doesn't matter. He's already too far away. In comes another nuke from Alonia. That's called what the glacial spike. Yeah, but not enough damage in the ammo. Good, good. Uh, Good chance at nice. least. Yeah, that was really close to the Andromeda stun landing before the rally got compelled off. Mm -hmm. Would probably have resulted in a kill if that happened. It's a bit unlucky. So close. So close. Yet so far. So rally is going to be fine. Just uh, using a bit of the regen. Already back to full life, in fact. Uh, currently out of regen with that said. Granted, Engineer does have the bottle charge on him. Was uh, thinking about going top, but... Being protected up there, four minute rune is going to be spawning. Voodoo Jester are going to protect bottom. Will be a double damage. <laughs> did you watch that stack? No. The creeps just ran straight through the trees. Oh, spawned. did they? They didn't yeah. even care. Go tree walking. <laughs> it's just like these trees aren't even here for us. Kind of disappointed in Insania though. I thought he was going to be roaming with this Voodoo Jester. Is yeah. That up an armor ring. Yeah, I guess the guardian ring. So early ring of the teacher to come. Yeah, no, no early boots unfortunately. I could still get it. Probably not, though. Uh, Gauntlet took a lot of damage down the middle lane, but he does survive. 
the onslaught and actually gets helped with some regen in the meantime. So, but uh, yeah, Voodoo Jester having I mean, double damage here, and him and Puppet Master are they going to be pushing this? Puppet does have level three Whiplash here, so they're going to be. Yeah, this Bansing one needs to be really careful with. If Sainer manages to land a Curse Ground on him, he's going to take a lot of damage. Mm -hmm. He only has one point in each right now. I, might, I assume, though, it's going to be a level 2 Curse Ground. That's that's pro well, What would you... Is yeah. that, that what you level up, or...? <laughs> go to yeah, Curse Ground is... Yeah. You, rank 1 Curse Ground is garbage. So yeah. you put one point in it, you have to put a second point in it as well. So, more than likely, we'll put that second point into that when the time calls for it. And then maybe try to set up a kill if Sir Bensington isn't careful enough. With all that lockdown, definitely needs to keep his distance as far as where uh, getting killed there at the bottom lane. So, yeah, I mean, overall, though, still no Bloodlust kill coming out. Four and a half minutes in. Uh, you got Puppet Master leading the charts at 345 gold per minute, but knocks on. Uh, Gemini is following suit, and he's passing up Elemental Force, actually. Uh, this this hero we see is just so many kind of skill builds on. From stats to just going to Elemental Force to, you know, maxing out the just the Q and the W. So he's going to be going the more of a useful in terms of being of use earlier on in the game, perhaps. Kind of build. Yeah. Well, he has both more. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Wants to use a lot of mana in laning phase. Mm -hmm. Level up his nuke abilities. Yeah, stats not doing too much for him right now, so <laughs> I guess that kind of makes sense. Here comes that push bottom. Well, not really all out push, but good pressure at the tower at least. Oh, he's saying he boots. Someone's gonna die now. Okay. <laughs> this is where camera on him. Yeah, yeah. I, I, that's what I got. Even though he's not even close to any. <laughs> Please don't pull the creeps. Oh, <laughs> what a letdown. Oh, jeez. What is he doing? Drunken Master uh, gonna be fine. Just hook simple mid. Razzle. Oh yeah, hook mid on a rally right there. He has compelled a rally. Oh, ready. oh he didn't get that love off. Nope. He is able to get away in the end. So yeah, infernal instability just out of range. Could not reach close enough, so a Lilo Rexar. Which apparently is purple in Swedish. Yeah. I got it. I don't think it's Swedish though, so maybe it's something else in a different language. <laughs> Could be, I guess. He uh, dodges another hook right there, so staying alive. In the meantime, Drunken gonna take some harassment from Pew on the Andromeda, but again, not really a kill necessarily coming out. So a pretty slow start here as far as, I mean, we've definitely had some action, but no actual kills outright coming. Rally again? No, he compels forward. Going to be fine. Top rune going to be picked up by Alonia just before. Uh, Drunken Master gets there. Only an illusion rune, so not the most powerful, but some good rune control coming out at least. So you got Puppet Master. He's level 6. Who's more threatening, you think? The Puppet Master or the Gemini in this case? With the way the farm's going, it's pretty even. The Puppet Master, for sure. But in the mid lane, the Gauntlet's more threatening than the Rally, so I think it's pretty even. Yeah. Back and forth there. Here comes Voodoo Jester. Uh oh, this has to be dead Bensington. Uh, I think it might be a dead Voodoo Jester. Bensington then down. Oh yeah, he's not gonna go for it. Uh, so easy for insane. Everyone's so afraid of him. <laughs> Need to see the player name and. Yeah, just run away. How many times can one of those anti-core necromancers spawn a minion? Because Insania was forming that forever. I have no clue, honestly. He, he pulled the camp, and they just kept spawning those <laughs> tiny ads. Just infinite spawn. That that would be pretty yeah, ridiculous. Pretty I yeah, mean, but he had, two, he had two necromancers, and just kept spawning new ones. They only give you, like, four gold each, so it's not, like, uh, the okay. most, but it's, it is something. I mean, it's, uh, that, uh, yeah, I, I don't know, though. That, that is something to be Oh, here we go again. Up in the jungle. About. But again, uh -huh. he sees him. Just runs away. Oh, middle lane. Meanwhile, we have some actual action going on. Gauntlet's going to be pushed backwards. He puts the grapple on to, uh, was that Rally, though? We, Rally's going to be oh. fine, though. Down goes Gauntlet. Drunken Master able to finish him off, but now he's in trouble. Sir Benz is in the joust, and he did not go far enough. He only hit Engineer. Drunken Master's going to be fine. Gemini jumps in. Beautiful kick stun, but it's not going to be enough, as the Lance along is long enough. So, at Again, least they didn't the get kill. the Infernal Instability off. Yeah. And Rally and... <laughs> and Drunken Master get away with like 10 HP each. Yeah. 
I feel like, uh, again, the joust, he went a little too short right there. He definitely could have gone longer, I'm pretty sure. No, you stop if you hit the hero. The oh, okay. The That's fair, okay. That I don't sense. know if it was uh, well played by Engineer or just good luck in there. <laughs> yeah. Definitely the same thing. Yeah. So not long enough, but again, at least they didn't get the one kill. But yeah, definitely wanted either the trunk of the rally, I'm sure, as well. With the Engineer being the only kill, not the biggest still in the world. The top lane, though, Gemini gonna keep, keep pushing that lane in here. He has Steam Boots in there, Soul Scream Ring already, so Energizer. Dancing Fun is from Ancients with a DD room. It's kind of interesting decision. <laughs> hey, he's... I think he could have gotten a kill with that. That's a lot of them. True. Not gonna be active, but goes the safe route. So again, you're saying Puppet Master, perhaps a more scary and. Actually, look at Purple Rexar. He's going straight Assassin Shroud. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. No Whispering Helm for him. Seismic Sam in the meantime in the middle lane. They set it up. Gauntlet dropping low. Will it be low enough? Yes, it will. Gauntlet Blast comes out, but just a little too late. So, nice execution there. They do get the top tower in response, at least. That's Team Excellent. Yeah, but... Super KG is having a really poor game with Gauntlet right now. Yeah. I mean, usually, he's, that's a really good hero for him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. I uh, honestly, until you said that, I almost forgot that that was Super KGE playing the gauntlet. That is very, very true. Yeah, he's having a tough time, and earlier series, you know, unfortunately didn't do the best either. So, uh, bottom lane though, Puppet Master pushes in that tower. So him and Gemini are really just continuing to kind of duke it out here for the top farm. Uh, but yeah, so so the straight assassin try, you do like that? Yeah, I think it's a good choice. In a game like this, I think he's going to be able to find a lot of kills with it. Mm -hmm. Has some potential. Okay, he's just about there. Has enough for the broadsword, and he's a little bit more for the pattern, it looks like. As he will just purchase the broadsword and follow that up. So, I mean, he's already showing that fact as well. He's, he's showing the Steam staff, so yeah, if you're the Hellborn team, I'm sure they picked up on that. That's going to be something to keep in mind on their part. Yeah, but that, that may, might pay off for the Legion team. Might force the Hellborn team to play a bit more passive. Yeah. That is uh, true. Nox is clearing up a triple stack here. Q managed to stack for him. He's getting a lot of form. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, Pew and Nox especially. I mean, Pew's been obviously a, a teammate of Nox's for the longest time. And it seems like we mentioned the last series, he's on the ball with keeping the stacks up for him. And a big help in terms of getting him that high farm status. And he does a lot of the time, so... Um, the Energizer is finished on him. Yeah, I think we've seen Nox build Energizer on every single hero he's played. I think so, yeah. I wonder if he knows it's been changed. <laughs> oh, and Gemini is really good though, because Gemini benefits so much from stats yeah. in general. Yeah, it does make sense here. He has a bottle haste rune as well. He could probably take a fight someone with that. He's got a TP, so if you're the Legion side, I mean, they're kind of setting up middle a little bit. Not really though. It's, it's, I was going to say, if they were looking to initiate, then he would probably be there to react. But uh, not going to be the case just yet, at least. That is wearing off for the time being, so... Yeah, he only has 20, 20 more seconds left on that. So unless they want to make something happen here right away... Probably just continue to farm, which it looks like that's what he's going to do. Assassin Trout being delivered to Puppet Master. So he does have that now. And I'm wondering if he's going to go mid with this. Yeah, he should. Yeah. Go, he should get a, try to get a kill at least. Looks like he's going to try for Bouncing Thun. And now there is this ward of sight here, so we'll see when he uses the Assassin Shroud. He's spotted. Too late. Yeah, yeah. that was too oh. late. Sir Bensington very aware. You kind of wonder if uh, Puppet Master is going to pick up on that, if like, there must be some vision here. Probably. Yeah, if he went mid, they had teammates there, could have maybe set something out, but... You want to try to go for the solo kill, which is understandable. It's just that ward of sight being there screws everything up. Damn it! Yeah, that's a really good ward of sight. One hundred gold and saved the kill. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I mean that goes back to you know maybe they they, they saw he had the steam staff as yeah. you put it. It's getting them to play that play style of all right. We need to be careful, and sure enough, it pays off. Um, Gemini, eighteen hundred gold saved up. So we knew the Energizer may be coming. It, again, this seems like a Dawnbringer just is a such a good item for this hero. Is that new route you expect to see, like the Firebrand first, or? Yeah, 
Oh, it is, look, so it might be a second energizer. You never know. <laughs> Who knows? Engineer, by the way, he throws down the energy field as Sir Bensington jumped onto him with a nightfall, and nothing really happens in the end. He kind of walks away, and Engineer's like, all right, well, that's that. So, that was an I just, awkward... I, I just hope Nox buys the Firebrand first. Yeah. Goes that route. He's no ice brand. <sighs> He's done it before. One time. <laughs> it wouldn't be the first time. Wouldn't be the first time, so... Nox is actually split farming with his... Yeah? Uh, fire oh, and ice form. Is, yeah. Fire's currently back at base, and gonna bring it back, get the item. Got the Firebrand on him. So he does go that That's... first. That's something that's really dangerous to do, unless you have map control. Yeah. But he feels safe doing it right now. Goes back together in the meantime. Gonna continue the jungle. So yeah, I mean, he's just... I mean, so is Puppet Master, to be fair, but... It's... The GPM is rising a little bit more for, uh... For Gemini right now. The Assassin Trial, not as much of a farming tool as, say, the Whispering Helm may have been. Rally in the meantime, gonna get caught here by Grapple, but he got the rune first. And now they're going to stun in on a Gaul, and Gaul is going to end up falling. Engineer being there as well. Super KG got a little cocky going in by himself. And did not have a support nearby, so I, can't, I don't know if that was miscommunication or what, but yeah, he just really is not playing on the ball here. Uh, luckily for them, going to say that you don't really need Parmon. Yeah. Like it, it's really good if you get like snowballing with him, but he can still have an impact even without Parmon. Just landing a big grapple, setting up mm -hmm. a team fight. But you obviously don't want him to go 0-1-3 and do tap <laughs> over 200 GPM. It's yeah, especially when uh, we're used to. Lots of TP spot, by the way. But they have a lane ward. Oh wow! Well, yeah, so just shooters. like the puppet master getting spotted earlier, yeah. now he's gonna spot them coming. So no cigar here, most likely. If I mean puppets, to go farm it. Okay, yeah, got a little greedy there. I he think they're support. trying to bait this. They're keeping in on the leading side. Mm -hmm. A lot of arrows there. Oh, this is interesting. Yeah, but Engineer's going to scout things out. He's going to see them. Yeah, they're going to fall back, though. But now the Legion team, the one that wants to go in, maybe. That's yeah, not going to be... Not going to be happening, though. Drunken Master does join the party. He's got his Ghost Marchers. A little bit of build-up here. Meanwhile, Nox is farming, so... Yeah. He's had the better farm. He's been doing that compared to Puppet Master. Yeah, he's... Pulling ahead by a lot now as well. Mm -hmm. That's what I was saying. I mean, the Assassin Trail's great, but it's like a Portakey on Pebbles. It's obviously a very good item, but if you're not going to use it for kills, you know, is it really doing what you yeah, need it to uh, do? I think it's more about the rest of the excellent team, though. They're putting a pressure on the Legion side. Yeah. Everyone on the Legion side is farming. You see Insania keeps jungling with his uh, Acid Cocktail and just keeps pulling the, the neutral camp out of the lane and stuff. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Speaking of that, yeah, Voodoo Jester, we haven't really seen anything up either. Nah, just... He pretty much played the jungle Voodoo Jester this game, and Yeah. <laughs> See if he can make anything happen with it. <laughs> I mean... I, I don't think I'm qualified to question Insania, but... No, you're not. This, this is a bit weird in my eyes. He's waiting for the right moment, I guess. Uh, triple Stack Ancients on the Hellborn side, they're right here. We'll see if they... Both we'll teams have in. triple ancient sector right now. Yeah. Let's see if they use alone at Curtis. This is what I was talking about, but... Hmm. I'm not sure they're gonna give her the farm though, since everyone's here. Yeah, it's... God, yeah, they just drop with her here. Try to get it to Gauntlet, it looks like. Can you get that portal key? As soon yeah. as possible. Elonia yeah. can definitely clear a triple ancient stack by herself at this point. But... Yeah. You can tell right there. Especially if she uses her ultimate, if she really helps. Yeah, yeah. Too, but... Oh, top lane! What's going on here? Drunken Master being chased down. Gemini has his ultimate coming up, but not going to use it, and Drunken Master will stagger away and be fine. A lot of pressure, though. Yeah, Gemini, he is scary, man. I mean, he uh -oh. definitely has potential, oh. but yeah, they're going to go back in. It's Puppet Master versus Gemini. Here comes Engineer, though. Gemini being locked down will get taken out. The That's Assassin Shroud. That is big. Especially for Puppet Master. Getting... Oh, no, actually, well, Engineer got it, but... And Nox had like 467 GPM or something like that. Yeah. It was really good to try to keep him under control right now. <laughs> he actually goes to Whispering Helm to follow now. Yeah. Uh, well, I don't mind it. It's just. It's just the opposite order of what we're used to seeing. <laughs> yeah, they had that extra support to stack ancients for him anyway, so he didn't need the Whispering Helm to do that. And True. He tried to get aggressive early game. 
I don't blame him for that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he definitely was, even though the kills weren't happening. He, he most certainly was looking for the opportunities, as we saw. But, hey, he ended up getting one right there, so <laughs> that was a big one indeed, as you're pointing out. Nox going down, slowing him down a at least a little bit, and allowing Puppet Master to even catch up to get close now in the GPM. Rally is really close to his Porting Key. It's going to be a big pickup. This is interesting. Puppet Master still up here. Okay, no, it's actually going to start roaming down now. Going to run past toward a site that was just placed, though. We'll see if they maybe capitalize on that. No, they can't really get the angle here. So, yeah, Rally, 2,200 gold. Hasn't bought it just yet, but probably will. Just finishing off those neutral creeps right there. Engineer, 4-1-0. Red Rexar, wherever you are. You've been having a solid game here. For your team. Do you know any of these players? I think I maybe asked this last time, but do you know any yeah, of these guys? Yeah, I've been told who they are, but I that doesn't say that much to me. <laughs> okay. Pretty much just pop players. Yeah. Yeah, that, that, that's what I'm that's what my understanding too. It's even if you were to say their names, I wouldn't actually recognize them, so but uh but again, I mean, no, you know, we've been referring to a lot of the Sanius team for good, you know, he's a popular player on the team, he's a captain and everything, but yeah, it's not like this is a brand new team either. And Sanius joined the team going into the Pro League, uh, but they have been around before. They play gold. Um, I think they maybe even have been diamond a couple times. Um, or no, maybe they just finished in gold. But anyways, they have some experience at least. Oh, Rally missing us after <laughs> Gauntlet misses his hook, so a couple of whiffs right there. It's been a lot of pulses this game. Yeah, looks like it. I want to talk about what just happened, apparently. <laughs> the quick, uh... All right, we're good, boss. It's a taunt pause. Yeah. And you sidestepped your compel. <laughs> <laughs> After I missed a hook. <laughs> uh -huh. Oh, I mean... So Gemini, 2,000 more gold saved up. Again, getting close to the second component of the Dawnbringer. Yeah, hopefully gets the light brand. Searing light, yeah. I mean, he does need mana, especially with his build. Yeah, looks like he's gonna send one of his dogs home now to pick it up. Mm -hmm. Keeps the ice one here. Fire one, uh, send home to pick it up. Gemini, or not Gemini, but uh, Sir Benzington pushing out the bottom lane, trying to recover in his farm. And Story Footer's managing just over 200 gold from it now. He's got a Soul Scream Ring working on a. I, I, Maybe an Energizer? He has enough for it, I believe, if he wanted that. Oh, Nox, what a champion. I think he's the first competitive player I see. Managed to build the Dawnbringer in the correct order. That's good. <laughs> good job, Nox. The Firebrand into Lightbrand into Icebrand. He's doing it. He's doing it. So, yeah, he's just about there. 22 more 100 more gold, and that uh, Icebrand finished. And by the time he has it, he's going to have level 4 Elemental Forest. Or he already has oh. it. What am I saying? Was that was an uh, unexpected misplay to see from Nox that plays so much dog. Yeah. Apparently the the twin fang destroys creep stacking. Okay. So he tried to double stack with the twin fangs, but <laughs> ended up not stacking any camp. Yeah, I was watching him, and then yeah, that it kind of threw me off guard too. What just happened there? Um. But I kind of expected him to know everything about Gemini. Please, <laughs> it's so much. Well, apparently not that. Hey, you, you still learn. Still learn. I'm sure there's, there's things that you still learn I every mean, game you, you play. Like, exactly. On um, Parasite and Tempest. Maybe not Keeper of the Forest, though. He's easy. <laughs> Middle lane. We got group up. <laughs> Gemini's like, I I'm ready to fight. Gauntlet jumps in, but look at that reaction. Lilo Rexar playing Rally Portal Keys himself. So the Portal Key Gauntlet not able to make an instant play right there. Oh, they're going to give him the double damage, though. Yep. Gemini gets the double damage bottle, and now he's going to push in this tower. Fight Bruin. Falling back, though. Not going to stand in too long. Puppet Master, the one coming in. He's in the Assassin Shroud, and that'll be enough to scare them. Yeah, and the Night Tower. Good job by Rex Source. Oh, Invis on Gemini. Maybe. Oh, yeah, he's coming back in. There's the Call of Plus on a Puppet Master. The Twin Fix, beautiful, right on top. The double damage, Gemini. Nice kegs down on the counter. Puppet Master going for the counter. On in, though. The Voodoo Puppet comes out. They get the one kill, but so goes Puppet Master. So the carry's being taken out here. Sir Pensington, he slams down, gets a kill on the Engineer, it looks like. But that's probably going to come at a cost. Maybe not, actually. He jousts away. And Rowley's going to try to chase him down. He portal keys in the wrong direction, though. Maybe compelled. No, he missed! <laughs> 
He just missed him right there. He had the right idea, but the angle wasn't exact. In the meantime, Elonia is maybe not. Andromeda swap <laughs> at the last second. That could not get any more last second right there. Wow. Huge and Elonia lives. To see you. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good teamwork right there. Yeah, what a team player. Yeah. Well, I, I mean, who came out on top, though? I guess maybe Rexar's in the end? Yeah, Rexar's did. Okay. Sure. Who died first, Puppet or Gemini? I believe it was Gemini. Yeah, Gemini yeah. died first. You did? Yeah, yeah okay. According to the tech, so Puppet get a slight bonus there. That really shows how squishy Gemini is right now, though. He died very quickly. Yeah. I mean, it, it was a voodoo puppet, to be fair, and then the follow-up. So, yeah, <laughs> anyone's going to drop pretty fast, but, yeah, even him. He is pretty squished with that build, of course. Does the... Using the Fire and Ice form on Gemini, like, destroying the Voodoo Puppet? Oh, Fast, yeah. Right? That, so, so if you get Voodoo Puppet, then you use your ultimate? Yeah. I or the other way around. I like believe... I mean, I, I think so. I think Geometer's Bane would remove that. Actually, does it? No, no it doesn't. Geos doesn't, I don't think. If Geos uh, doesn't, then I don't think the dog would, either. Uh, can't believe I don't know this. Yeah. I don't, I don't play Geometer series very often, though. <laughs> You're just full of those mechanical questions today. Yeah, I actually tried the Cersei one, and it works. The Aura? Yeah, every Aura works, and oh, uh, Brilliance works. <laughs> Cersei really... I mean, I've heard about this whole Moon Queen strategy with Cersei, where you just, like, spawn illusions constantly, and you could just push lanes with illusions. It's ridiculous. Yeah. You can probably do that with the Radiance as well. Maybe if you have like a Zephyr or something. Just yeah. Keep sending Radiance Zephyr towards the enemy. That would be so annoying. <laughs> that would be. Yeah, it's just cray cray. Alright, so after that big fight middle though, BM, or not BMG, uh, Rexars. Rexars has a 2,500 goal lead, 5,000 experience lead here. So, Puppet Master though, and Gemini are still competing as Gemini still has the edge. Nice hook from Gala right here though. He catches Engineer. And this should end up in a kill, maybe. Energy field coming out. He will finally go down, though. Mm -hmm. You saw Puppet Master kind of there, but that cliff was such an awkward spot. Couldn't really help yeah. him. It was a good hook by Super KGE, though, to start that. Trying to get him back into the game here. Wow, I didn't realize Drunky Master's got a lot of form lately. It's up over 100 creep kills now. Almost got his BKB. Yeah, he's been kind of quiet. Head. But uh, Green Rexer definitely just about has it. A couple more creep kills here. 1,300 gold necessary. Just going to go back and back. Get it the old-fashioned way. That's also going to be coming up on Puppet Master. So, yeah, so several shrunken heads. In fact, I think Rally even is probably working for one. Might guess that with the Master one, probably. Never know. Yeah. It's, it's, it does make it a lot bigger, man. <laughs> yeah. It increases the radius quite a bit, actually, so. Um, we have seen that before, but yeah, no, I'd probably not, but yeah, we'll see, it's, it's possible. Um, what was I going to say, Gemini 2000 gold saved up, so he almost has the full Dawnbringer here, at this point. Most expensive item in game. It sure is, yep, 6600 gold. Makes, makes any difference. Yeah, I'm, it, this is like your, him and Shadowblade just seem like ideal yeah. heroes. I've heard people call it the Nox Springer. <laughs> That's that is true. He's he's known for getting it, and this is the one hero where it's like it actually does make a lot of sense. Um, yeah, so that is being delivered now with the Ice Brand, and that's going to give him the boost of health, of course. Yeah, and uh, the Hellborn team is actually farming really well. We saw after the last team fight, uh, the leading side were up with like 5.5k experience, mm -hmm. and it's now down to 3k without any kills happening. Yeah, the gold and experience has definitely gone down. That's true. So that's uh, to the credit of Team Excellent, most certainly. There's uh, the shrunken head still starting to appear, though, on the Legion side. Again, Drekken just got his puppets just around the corner. And depending on what Rally does, again, he's on the way at least. Puppet's going to push in here at the bottom lane, just farm it out a little bit. Hopefully, for his sake, not get caught. Sir Bensington does have 2,500 gold saved up. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see what kind of item he chooses to go for, because mm -hmm. Bansington is actually a really strong link in here as well. It's extremely high edge of the game. Yeah, that's true. The Brutalizer, it's not a... Or it's a pickup that yeah. we have seen before. Mm -hmm. That, or even like a Null Fireblade, depending on the situation, so... 
Um, going to use the Invis right here. He was hoping Puppet Master would maybe keep pushing up a little bit, but not going to be the case. Puppet Master not uh, going to risk it right there and decides to fall back. But again, he does have the Shrunken Head himself. Uh, Tablet's coming on either side. Voodoo Chester has one. Elonia got his. So we're seeing the, the secondary support starting to kick it into action here. On either side. Well, this is proving to be a very passive game, though. This is her classic carry versus carry lineups, and yeah, a lot of well, passive play. We talked about it in the beginning that every single player in the, in the game has a stun, and yeah, they're not using it to kill each other. It's mm -hmm. all about the farm right now. Maybe something top lane, making the way up here, but nope. <laughs> Excellent's gonna oh, super KG is like, I want to go in. Screw this. <laughs> he almost ran in right there, while well, Gemini was running the other way, but. I think that's where Skype may have kicked in, like, no, we're not going. <laughs> oh, so yeah, not going to jump right there, and in the end, falls back to, guess what, get more farm. 1,600 gold saved up, but once again on Gemini, so now that he has that full Dawnbringer, is this a shrunken head game, you think, or different? Uh, I mean, shrunken head is really good here against the Engineer, because Engineer can be such a hard hair to deal with if you don't have one. Mm -hmm. But I don't think he has to get it. There are other options. We often see like a behemoth sort on him. Oh, true, yeah. It's really good on Gemini. It actually boosts his damage by quite a lot. Yeah, the uh, armor penetration. Yeah, and uh, yeah. Isn't there a secondary effect for agility heroes? Is there? Wait, what? For what? The behemoth heart? No, 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 no. no you're thinking old school <laughs> behemoth heart. Yeah, you used to get 10% damage. Oh, right? yeah, Is yeah, 10% damage. That was, that? that was like five years ago. No, it wasn't that oh, long okay. ago, but <laughs> it was like, it was you very early me. on, yeah. You know, it was it was like three years ago at least, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that happened a long time ago. I, I remember that. Yeah, it's, the intellect was to reduce the cooldown, I believe, and then strength just gave you even more regen or something. <laughs> so, yeah, no, that yeah, was just... just straight up HP or something in the strength? I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I forget exactly. But... But now it's just all the same. All boring and the same. Uh, rally? Okay. No. No. Never mind. <laughs> I guess we could see him split up the Stormbringer as well. And start building like Frostwolf Skull and uh, Geometries and stuff. But mm -hmm. he just got his Stormbringer, so I think he wants to keep it for a while. Yeah. He's split. He has his split form. Okay, no. He goes back in the same form. Drunken Master, though, is here. But again, he's going to fall back before any chance. There was a port in from uh, Engineer ready to set up a kill. Yeah. And now we're down to 1k advantage for uh, leading team. Yeah. Keeps, keeps dwindling. Yeah. When uh, We used to see Lyos pick up uh, Gemini a couple of times as well. Mm -hmm. But they always did it uh, together with Ophelia. And then the Gemini would get an early Abyss of Skull and they would do Congo with it. Oh, that's true. Yeah, I do remember that actually. A couple times we saw that throughout Hauntour. So. Oh, is this the time though a fight may finally brew here? We got Gauntlet. He's in a position. Oh, they, have a DD. they have a DD on Gemini. It's huge. Yeah. That yeah, is a big time. He is sitting on 3,200 gold. Wow. Sir Bensington sitting on 3,600 gold. There's a lot of gold being pulled up here. Yeah, Swing Metals would hate to see them pick a fight here. <laughs> yeah. And understandable. Spending gold before a team fight? Oh my I, God. I, okay, there he buys the Shrunken Head, actually. He gauntlet Portal King away. They do not want to fight this, it looks like. Excellent is not ready. Yeah, they're waiting for the truck and head to shore. Yeah. And they're probably gonna go. Okay. Well. It's a liberty to Sir Bensington now. And I, so I think it's gonna be a shrunken on Gemini at this rate, too. I think they might just be waiting for him, too. Mm -hmm. Once he has that, they'll feel a lot more comfortable getting in fights. Hell, yeah. Gauntlet's almost there, too. <laughs> yeah, they're choosing to fight with a shrunken head instead of the need the room they had. Mm -hmm. Which is gonna expire in 20 seconds, which is, I mean, it's fine. There you Did go. you buy it? Yeah. Oh, he farmed that fast. Yes, 300 gold left over as well. Yep. Okay, so here we go. They might even be able to use the DD if they can fight right now. If they can oh, find it. it. Uh oh. Bro. Mm. Gee, still going for it. Nice yeah, going for it. You want to call it? He went for the YOLO grapple. Unfortunately, did not connect though, so. Yeah, they wanted what's to play. Uh, what's the range on Bensington's ultimate? I feel like he might have been able to ultimate there. Maybe they thought they were all five there as well. On whose ultimate? Uh, Bensington. Oh, Bensington. It's like 3,000, I think. 
Yeah. Oh, yeah, he, he was probably in range. Oh, he probably was. There we go, though. Yeah, here we go. Rally's going to be jumped on Serpent. They're joining the party as well. The double damage Gemini still activated. Just tears through Rally there. And he goes for Freedom Jester next. Gets him easily killed. Next target is Puppet Master. Andromeda going to swap out Gemini right there. As he falls back, in the meantime, Gauntlet is picked off. Will they look to go back in? Sir Pentatic gets picked off. It doesn't look like it. Rally buys back, obviously, and eventually helps set up the kill on him. So, again, big picture. It's kind of just a back and forth right there. Buyback was used. Yeah, a three for two and a buyback used on the Legion side. The Legion, um, the Legion decided to start running as soon as Rally bought back, which is understandable, but it cost them probably a hero or two as well. Oh! Chase someone down. Yep. Oh. Andromeda. Just a little too close right there. The portal key is coming to play yeah. and easily gets picked off. Uncharacteristic feed by Pew. <laughs> very, very true statement there. Gemini wants to go in. He has Twin Fangs ready, but without follow up, he's a pretty risky move. So, yeah, I can't do it. Tower does fall. And we'll just have to settle for the farm after the fact. But uh, in the end, kind of fall back here if you're Rexars and go back to farming. He's saying he's been farming so much this game. He really has. I was just, oh, a big crap right there to Puppet Master. Can they fall? The Scotland Plaza coming out. Sir Benzenton, he joins the party. He has a joust, yeah. but do they have dust? Yeah, they, they did. Just used okay, it. yeah, they did dust him. Yeah, he is going to be picked off. Yeah, he did a good job. He bought dust and gave it to Sir Benzenton because okay. he knows Sir Benzenton is always going to be in the thick of things. It's a really good kill for them. They might oh. get longer now. Actually, Voodoo Jester, the split up Gemini, look at that. He just melted. Yeah, I think he wanted to distract them from doing Congo there. Just <laughs> making Gemini waste some time. Mm -hmm. Well, that's... <laughs> I don't know if that's really... Make yeah, we'll, we'll see if it works out for them. <laughs> I don't think it's going to work Hussein out. Hussein is usually right about these kind of things, so... <laughs> Uh, I like how he's keeping the, the ice dog, actually, but he actually ports it. Okay, so, well, it works out. Look at that. Did he, did he port to the wrong one? Oh, never mind. Master plan by Insania works once again. No, they did buy back on both Puppet Master and Voodoo Jester, so. Yeah, it's all a part of the plan. <laughs> to not only give a kill to Gemini, but then spend two buybacks worth for no kills. Uh -huh. All part of the plan. I got you. Uh, yeah, so, I mean, now that they are up, though, they, they want to make something happen, of course, so. They're going to try to push out the bottom lane here, it looks like. This is uh, one of two outer towers still remaining. Yeah, I was going to say that. I mean, Voodoo Jester's involvement has been... It seems like it's been pretty low this game. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Yeah, but he's pulling all the strings from behind the scenes. So. True. That is very true. Maybe that's why he's spending so much time in the jungle. He has to focus on everyone else's gameplay as well. <laughs> They're actually staring control of their heroes right now. Yeah. This is they all, actually might be. This is a one-man team. <laughs> that's not actually happening. That would be something. But uh, they do push in the bottom lane, of course, and fall back, kind of clean up resources, including the Hellborn Ancients. Yeah, saying is stacking some jungle camps so he can farm some more. Actually, the Malphite just picked up by Gemini, so he is going to be going that Behemoth Hearth now. Yeah, I think it's a perfect item on that hero. Just makes him so difficult to deal with. Mm -hmm. Any item that just tanks you up like crazy and yeah. also assists with a lot of damage is obviously going like to be good. I wouldn't even mind a second Pima Star after the first one. It's just, <laughs> it's a perfect item on it. Just because. Uh, Gauntlet. Super KG has definitely stepped it up. The landing phase wasn't that strong, but he's had some decent hooks here. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was talking about. Gauntlet is there that, like, even if you don't have that much farm, mm -hmm. it's so easy to have a big impact with. I love that grapple range too. He he lined it up to yeah. to the Twin Fangs range right there. And really nice. easily set up the kill for, for Nox, so yeah, good Yeah, you, you can tell that the communication between Super KG and Nox is clicking at least. Yeah. Even if the rest of the team is struggling a bit. <laughs> Not necessarily on the ball, but yeah, no, they executed that pretty well right there. and Easy kill for them in the end, so uh, Rex or Zelda, they still have the 3,500 gold lead. But again, a lot, of, a lot more to it than just the gold lead in this game. Yeah, a lot of that gold has been spent on buybacks as well at this point, mm -hmm. so... That is the big thing. As Puppet Master sitting on 2,500 gold has the Arcana. Probably going to finish the Hellflower here soon. <laughs> Again, I don't think this is a Harkons game necessarily. But uh, Demonic Breastplate being finished by Drunken Master. Trying to at least. Yeah, he's been quietly farming a lot as well. Yeah. 345 oh. GPM. 
Not had the biggest impact, but getting up there in farm. Because he's struggling a lot in the phase as well. Mm -hmm. Sir Bensington roaming around a little bit. Waiting uh, to make a move. He is level 16. Again, bottom lane. Puppet Master pushing up. He does have support and Voodoo Jester nearby if need be, but... What do you think about people getting Hellflower on Puppet Master, by the way? I mean, it does seem like it's, it is it is a good synergy item. It's obviously the Intelligence Focus, gives him the mana, regen mana is nice, and then the burst him. Hellflower is just such a... Ever since that changed, though, it's... Without the amp damage, I don't know. Yeah. It does take away a little bit from it. I would like to see Thunderclaw, man, I'm just saying. Yeah, that would be nice. <laughs> Thunderclaw to Charge Hammer. Get those no, 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 Thunderclaw into Elder Parasite. Or that too, yeah. And just get a lot of lightning everywhere. Who doesn't like lightning? Well, he does get the Hellflower. Oh, yeah, I mean, overall, I think it is a... It's understandable why it is picked up pretty often. <clears throat> Do you like it? I mean... I'm torn. I don't yeah. know. I don't think he needs the extra CC and he could benefit from a item that lets him carry harder, I guess. True. Kinda depends on the game, I suppose. Triple stack agents here it looks like. Yeah, just gonna be cleaned up. Oh. They cleared those fast. <laughs> yeah, Alonia and then Gemini doing plenty, Andromeda assisting a little bit too, so. Cleans those up. He's gonna probably have the Behemoth Arch shortly. Oh, he's here. gonna sneak into Conqueror here. Straight up. They yeah. Have on the Legion side. He's been doing this a little bit. He kind of like gets him a little low and then he goes away. So I don't know if that's a strategy or if it just happens to be coincidence. But yeah, he's back in here. As you said, they, I mean, they have vision, but Rexar's not really looking to. I mean, the, the I don't think that Warder Sight sees into the Conqueror pit, though. No, but they definitely know he's in there. But he, yeah, I mean, they're that's sure they have to. Another mechanic. Question here: Does does the armor penetration from Gemini work on Conqueror for himself? I mean, it's not a Diva, <laughs> so that's true. Does he just ignore the armor and thus can do more damage to Conqueror? Does it does, does it not work? I don't know. <laughs> I want to say maybe. I mean, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> maybe? <laughs> that's that's okay, my answer. Fair enough. <laughs> If I had to guess, if I, if I had to give it, I would say yes. I, I think it might, but oh, yeah, super okay, I'm not sure. Yeah, we do just here. Bensington <laughs> smashes the ground. Should be both the hook and Bensington there. Oops! Oh, Capel completely whipped, and that's a miss. Seismic slam. He was. Yeah, that's Conger, I think. He was that's delayed. A head as well. Yeah, it, are they gonna chase? That just seems silly. Yeah, just go for Condor. Oops. Yeah, it's one thing to lose Voodoo Chester, but then rally to go. Oh, crazy right there, that did not help. Yeah, I don't know, he didn't really have any backup either, so... I guess if he hit one of the supports, he could have killed them alone, but I don't know. I think he was just tired of waiting, really. <laughs> like, this game has been, again, a little bit more of a slow-paced game, so... Yeah, he wants to make something in a game happen. like this, it's really diff not difficult, it's really easy to make mistakes, if yeah. you're not in the farming role. Like, if you're playing a hero that's not farming in a game like this, it's just, there's not much to do, and... Mm -hmm. It's easy to just walk in stupid positions without really thinking about it. Yeah. I definitely get that. Uh, Storm Spirit just finished by Alonia. But it does seem like uh, Team X right now with that Gemini picking up the token of life especially. He's got the full behemoth heart. So yes, he is hitting really hard here. Yeah, 3.5k health and a token. Is he in trouble though? No. Jesus. He gets away in time. Again. Yeah, that's a lot of survivability. I think it's safe to say it's it's a case of uh, Rexars where it's like they don't want to focus in because of that, but at the same time, he's yeah. going to be doing a lot to you. So. I think they can just take all the tier 2 towers now. Excellent. Like, yeah. I don't think Legion can deal with this Gemini at this point. So they should look to capitalize on that. Drunken Master. Pushing up the top lane, just trying to finish off that last outer tower themselves. On the Legion side. Again, Puppet Master. He's continuing to farm very well himself. Doing a 400 and 56 gold per minute, yeah. Sit on the Hellfire port coming in, actually. It's Alonia. Oh, that was Alonia? Yeah. That was, uh, that was big stuff. Else. Yeah, that was Andromeda getting hit right there. Serpent is going to jump in, though. In the background, Drunken Master, or excuse me, Puppet Master being locked down, but he's got the Drunken up. 
turning and around the damage right there. Gemini's not going in. He does not want to go in. Sir Pensington, though, he's in. He gets one kill, but he gets killed off himself. They do deny the tower, but at what cost there? Alonia is going to end up falling. Gemini was very it? hesitant to go in. Yeah, I don't know. Did they disconnect? No. I don't think so. That, that seemed like they were all going. That was straight up awful. <laughs> I I didn't get it. Yeah, I was I was wondering where the hell the dog was that whole time, but he just wasn't there. He was sitting in the background, like it was, I don't know. <laughs> Elonia porting in by herself really was one thing. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, but like Super KG and Strufooter completely committed to that fight, while the rest of the team was like hesitant to go in and just mm -hmm. ran away pretty much. There was a really big line stun of the rally, like uh, initiating that fight, but mm -hmm. fine managed to push book away just in the right time, so it only made puke. Yeah. Now, uh, but that was huge for Legion side. This, so this is big. I was just gonna say, Gauntlet is the only one with the buyback. I, I think they're gonna be able to push in here and maybe even get a wax. Nox might actually be able to hold this himself. You think so? Because they don't have any BKBs, but. True. Oh, okay, they're gonna retreat yeah. actually. Well, maybe. No. Move in the next creep wave, if anything. Yeah, this is a this is this this is kind of a tough spot to be in because gone the buying back. Gemini is crazy farmed. He has a token. He could go pretty crazy here if he wanted to. Going in, I think but should. there you go. Drunken Master gonna be the target. There's the hook on a rally off to the side. Not really coordinating the best. And down goes Super KGE. And Gemini is gonna have to fall back with that shrunken head up. So that's now down, and this is gonna be melee Rax. Well, that uh, so that complete misplay of a fight right there from Team Excellent is going to cost them the top Rex. Yeah, and Rex sources are doing a really good job at capitalizing from the mistake as well. Mm -hmm. Just making sure they get value of it by getting the Rex as well. Good job from their side. Yeah, I again, I'm still just so baffled at that last fight. It was just the the organization just clearly was not there. So just not on the same page between the team and. Definitely, yeah, definitely and showed. Excellent has been ahead in this game for so long, and they honestly are still in a very good position. But after making a mistake like that, it can be difficult to get your head in the game again. Yeah. I will say the stats, the overall stats may be a little deceiving again, simply because of it's Gemini's the one that's really up there, but it yeah. does drop off quite a bit after him. Um, you got a drunken master and a rally in the meantime on the other side that I've been doing. Well, they're, they're well. about to hit level 16 in Elonia as well, and when they have that, they have all their big ultimates. Yeah. I mean, level 11 is enough on Andromeda to get a good swap up. Well, it looks like Team X, they want to use this token. Minute left. Wow, it's only a minute left? Yep. <laughs> Crazy. Yeah, the Conqueror chain, it really feels like it's even less. Like, <laughs> only two minutes less, but it feels like it's like five minutes less for some reason. Uh, yeah, no, they're gonna take out the tower. Will they keep going? Probably not. Not, a, not enough time remaining on the token, it looks like. Not comfortable with that. Uh, Lonio's not with them either. She's still level 15, in fact, so... Not gonna continue the push. And instead will fall back themselves, so... Drunken Master, though, yeah, he's he is hitting hard himself. Dr uh, Demonic Breastplate at the level 2 Shield Breaker. Soon to be level 3, and what did Puppet Master just buy? Let's see. It was a Symbol of Rage. Get the Symbol ready to go. On Puppet Master. That's uh, obviously going to give him an extra survivability and chance to turn around yeah. in those fights. And I think uh, Rexar is, yeah, they're going to try to push the bottom lane now. Did he complete the symbol already? Yep. Okay. He just finished it. Oh, there it is. Yeah. That's a big item pick up. So the shrunken heads definitely. Uh, those are probably lower though with that set as far as cooldown goes, or the duration, yeah. I should say. Shield breaker on Drunken Master is a big deal as well. He's really far. Yeah, he is, he is hitting hard, really hard now. <laughs> you mentioned in that he's kind of been that quiet farmer on the Legion side, but. So, so much focus on Puppet Master, but yeah, Drunken Master, you cannot forget about either the two Masters. There's the Untouchable, he's just gonna go right for the tower, dropping it. Snake Bracelet just purchased by Nox. Gonna buy that going into this fight. We eventually get the uh, Wing Bow, of course. 
It's uh, all right. rather old pickup on Gemini, I guess. Do you get the benefit of the evasion in split form? I don't think you do. In split form? Yeah, I don't think you do. I don't think the item benefits assist you in split form, so... I think, to be fair, I think he's sitting in his main form for ba for most of these fights. The yeah, I've been seeing that as well. I don't know if it's a good decision or not. Yeah. But... It's, it can be tough sometimes. Oh, he's plays there on all, so he probably knows best. But... <laughs> he does. So, Rexar is just keeping them occupied, really. Again, they have the top lane. It's pushing in their favor, of course. They got the big creeps up there. And that's going to eventually start entering the base of Team Excellent. Going to have to be weary of that. But yeah, they can clean up these creep waves pretty damn quick, as we keep seeing. Uh, Elonia especially, and then you throw Gemini in there. Yeah, Elonia is excellent at defending her own base. Mm -hmm. Instant kills creep waves. Rex are really persistent, though. They're yeah. They're even setting up a minefield over here. Yeah, they are. They're going to be staying for a while. <laughs> They plan to camp this one out. Again, It's they, they're the ones that are in the momentum here. And excellent someone with something to lose. Talbot for Gemini is going to be gone on right here. He's going to evade quite a bit in the meantime. He's doing things away to be fine. Puppet Master looking for the auto attack targets. Uh, Shurken are up all over the place, of course. You see a joust there. He splits up with a dodge, but they're both just dropping so quick. And down they fall. Vote to concede comes out. He buys back. But GG well played. Rexars will take. Game number one, just like that, all of a sudden. And Gemini, doesn't even matter, the game's over, but wow. I mean, that game, it went from, I agree, it's excellent had the lead. <laughs> yeah. They were in a good spot, and then the top Drunky fight Master's, happened. Drunky Master is such a good hero to have against a 4-1 lineup, though. Mm -hmm. It's like when it's Nox against the world, then Drunky Master can just stick to him so easily. Yeah. It's really difficult to play against. Well, 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 Rexars. Again, they uh, they pick up their second win so far here in the Pro League, and they think they're they're now up one nothing over uh, over Team Excellent, of course. So Team Excellent is still looking for their first win, even, and they had their chances to most certainly get it here in this first game, but did not come through. So Rexars deserving though of the victory. With that said, said the the masters together, both the puppet and the drunken master, definitely got some good farm, and then they they were capitalizing quite a bit. The Voodoo Jester pick up. It was fun to watch, although I will say again, it's just hard to really see the impact of it in the end, but still, I'm sure it did. To the cursed ground and that acid cocktail, so they take the first game. Anyways, we are going to take a short break right here, as always. So, ladies and gentlemen, stay tuned, though. We got Team Excellent versus Rexars. Rexars up one game to nothing here in this best of the three. Will they be able to take care of business, or will they